The way the clouds and the showers are moving in, it sort of looks like a Pac-Man, uh, poorly drawn, really poorly drawn Pac-Man moving towards us. But you can see everything's going to swallow us up and we're going to get into the clouds. We're going to get into the rain and this is going to be with us overnight. And any precipitation we get tonight into tomorrow morning is going to be rather light. But tomorrow when the cold front's coming through about 10 a.m. ish, uh, some steadier rains might try to pop up there. But in the meantime, we're clear for a little bit longer. And then those clouds and showers are going to take over. Right now we have 45 degrees. It's calm. And overall, it's a pretty nice night so far. And you can see many of our temperatures here are in the 40s. We get 45 in Pittsburgh, just up the road in Cranberry, it's 40 degrees, 41 Greensburg, Connellsville, 47. We get some 30s in spots like Waynesburg reporting 36 degrees there. Indiana, 39. It's the upper 30s in Catanning, about 40 in Newcastle and 48 degrees for Beaver Falls. Next few days, temperatures are all over the place. Tomorrow, 49 degrees. That's our high. That's early in the morning before the front comes through and then our temperatures are going to settle into the mid 40s. So tomorrow's going to be a cooler day and way below the 64 degree average for this time of year. Low 50s for Wednesday, and then we'll get a few days back into the 60s, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But even those days are a couple degrees shy of what would be considered average. So a cooler forecast shaping up. We have several showers, and everything you see in Ohio right now is pretty light. But coming out of southern Michigan, you can see that steadier line. That's the front. And when that gets here, we're going to see a couple steady showers embedded in the bigger batch. But overall, our precipitation is looking pretty light as this comes through tomorrow. Now, once this front gets here, know that there could be a few random snowflakes up north, uh, especially north of I-80 and closer to Lake Erie. But I think we're going to start to clear things out tomorrow night into early Wednesday. And since we're not warming up much tomorrow and we're going to be clearing out at nighttime, that means some frosty conditions early Wednesday. But we'll start to see those temperatures come back up with the next disturbance that arrives Wednesday night into Thursday. So we get a, a little warm up later on this week. Tonight, 43 degrees. It's going to be a mild one. Clouds on the increase. Those showers are going to be turning on as well. And tomorrow, early highs in the upper 40s. Those temperatures will settle to the mid 40s through much of the day. It's also going to get gusty. So there's going to be that wind chill element to things. Occasional wind gusts at about 30 miles per hour after that front comes through. So that'll be for the afternoon. Those winds really start kicking. And we'll have some showers taking us through about lunchtime. And then the next several days after that, these temperatures come back up for a few days. You get Thursday, Friday, and Saturday back into the 60s. These days do come with some showers, especially Thursday, which is looking pretty soggy. Friday, I think we wrap up that in the morning, so Friday afternoon is looking pretty good. Then into the weekend, some showers and thunderstorms on Saturday with the next front. Temperatures cool off again from there, Sunday and Monday, both in the lower 50s. And with the showers on the way and temperatures all over the place, keep it sorted out with the KDK Weather app. This thing has an interactive radar, a future cast, including hour-by-hour -hour and daily forecasts. It's free. All you have to do is go into the App Store or Google Play and search CBS Pittsburgh.